not only has he got a wine, but he's also got his turn paper. So well, because your engine engines can stay on the outbound oh, side of the train. Yeah. Yeah. So that, I mean, this that that's awesome. You just come, come out, you run around, you back it back in there and park it. That works too. All right, what you doing? I so started to get some cork laid. About a year or something. We got a, I want to get around this curve and across over through there tonight. We finally got this cork laid for the switch. And uh, so it'll, uh, it'll work out real nice. I need to uh, drill for my tordi. And then uh, that switch will be ready to mount. It's important when, as you're, when you lay cork that you make sure because you've got a long, a wide piece and a narrow piece on your cork. So you got to make sure that you get all the narrow pieces on the same side and all the wider pieces on the same side. Really? Yes. I did not know that. So on this one, the wide cork is on the outside and the narrow cork's on the inside. Okay. And if you don't do it and you don't watch it, what you wind up with is you wind up with that with a with an offset in your cork. So when you're putting your uh, ballast in, it just doesn't match up. We're putting this down with Gorilla Glue or white glue. Um, white glue is probably easier, uh, cheaper. <laughs> Uh, but he just happened to have Gorilla Glue, so that's what we're going to use. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll still end up back in the yard. Yeah. And the marks on the board there are both sides of the cord? Yes, the marks on, the, on each side are uh, basically the outside of the cork. However, the little marks in the middle are your center lines. Okay. Now, do you... We'll get it started, and then we will set it with a nail. Sure, that it runs smoothly out, around. Back, you know, come back and you park it, and you know, it doesn't have to be a we don't use the word park. It's supposed to be a car sort of sorting yard. Oh, I don't think that spot, spot car works for me. Well, the spot is this now if you notice, I, I'm overlapping the outside lines. Uh -huh. The reason for that is we took and laid track down here, Okay. and we drew the track. Your cork's wider than your track, right. so that's why we do it off the center line. You got it. How did you draw in the center line? Um, actually, I cut me a, uh, a piece, and I go from the edge, this edge of the line, uh -huh. and just make a mark. Okay. It works. <clears throat> In other words, you made a tool. I made That's a tool. That's the way to say it. I made a tool. And we smooth it, make sure there's no air underneath it. And you don't have to put a lot of nails in this. I got one at each end and one in the middle. Let that one set up before I put this piece in. Okay. One of the things you want, would, if you can, uh, always make sure that you don't have the same joints 
on your cork matching. So we've got a joint here, joint here, and then so when we put this in, the joints won't, won't be close to each other. That way you get a very good, nice, smooth transition around through there. Especially in the curve. Marking the center line. The center line. Now, they will be a bridge actually go in here. Uh -huh. But until we get the bridge actually ready to go in, mm -hmm. we're going to go ahead and lay the cork across it. So. Uh, that sounds like so we can run trains, huh? So you can run trains. <laughs> And then when you cut your bridge, your your cork will already be right up against your abutment. Right. So. Now, sub road bed we're doing here is half inch plywood. Yes. Exactly how tight it is until you. Yeah, I know. Well, we need a bunch of one and five.